My name is Lisa, and I'm a full-time homemaker. I live with my husband Noah, our daughter Madison, and my mother-in-law. On this day, Noah was also off work. All right, Madison, bring it on. Here I go, cream brulee a la mode. Nice bitch. Well then, Madison, you're getting the hang of it. What are you two doing inside the house? It's our special move, we're practicing. Special move? Is that the cream brulee thing you mentioned earlier? It's cream brulee a la mode, Grandma. Why did you decide to make creme brulee your special move? It just seemed cool. Plus, it's cream brulee a la mode, right? That's a bit irritating. Grandma, when you're feeling like that, it's good to throw it at Dad with all your might. Madison, were you throwing it with that feeling? It was aimed at the person who released the special move, so I guess it makes sense. In this way, we were leading a lively daily life. Noah has taken over the company from my late father-in-law and is now the president. He values family time, as we had today. Thanks to Noah, I am able to enjoy parenting, but… Really, Lisa, you just don't seem to get it right with the housework or the child care. Oh, yes. It's not oh, yes. Why is Madison, a girl, mimicking playing baseball? I think it's fine for boys and girls to do the same things. Be quiet. Instead of such barbaric activities, you should have her do something more ladylike. Also, there was dust flying around earlier, wasn't there? Haven't you cleaned? I did clean, though. Don't talk back. Go and clean up right away. Yes, I'll go clean now. In this manner, my mother-in-law used to take the opportunity when Noah was not around to lecture me. At first, I tried to correct things based on her advice but gradually I started to feel annoyed and recently I've been just ignoring her. The reason for my frustration goes back to a conversation we had. Hey Noah, do you think I could live with you? Oh, of course not. Noah, you don't have to say it like it's obvious. Exactly. And it's hard for Lisa to manage the household and child care alone. Then I'll help out, so there's no problem. Even if you say you'll help, there's a limit since you're busy, right? It's better if I'm here. Indeed, it's reassuring and helpful not to be alone. Lisa, are you really okay with this? It's my mom, you know? Your mother-in-law? It could be suffocating. You don't need to put it that way. I understand Noah's concern, but it'll be fine with Lisa and me. Well, if Lisa thinks it'll be helpful. Thus, we began living together, but my mother-in-law didn't help with anything. Instead, she only complained, and frankly, it just increased my workload, making me fed up. On a day when I heard that my mother-in-law would be out, I went to a cafe for a change of pace with Madison. Wow, Mon's coffee has a cute cat on it. This is called latte art. There are all kinds of designs. Cat latte art. Madison has come up with another special move. Are we calling it a special move with that name? I was delighted to relax at the cafe I had wanted to visit, away from my mother-in-law. However, the thought of returning home and facing her criticism again made me sigh. By chance, I encountered someone there. Hours later, when I returned home, my mother-in-law was waiting for me, looking furious. Lisa, where on earth have you been? Uh... I went to a cafe I wanted to visit. What? A cafe? Why? Well, it's been popular lately, and I was curious. Since you were out, I thought it would be a good opportunity to go there. I'm already back home. Why should a daughter-in-law return home after her mother-in-law? How can you be so carefree and neglect your housework and child care? I'm not neglecting them. I finished the housework, and I took Madison with me. Deck. If I say you're neglecting, then you are neglecting. What an easygoing daughter-in-law. Taking the chance to relax at a cafe while I'm away, how disrespectful. I'm not disrespecting anyone. So, should I not leave the house at all? Of course. A daughter-in-law is like a housework robot. The basic expectation is to work silently without a break. What? That's... If you understand, then get back to your chores. I spilled some coffee earlier, so wipe it up. And my clothes got dirty too, so do the laundry. Hurry up, or there will be stains on my clothes. Oh. What? Do you have a complaint? You don't do you. Saying this, my mother-in-law glared at me. Then, a person appeared from behind me. Enough with your arrogance. Uh, what? Why is? How is the mother-in-law here? I was at the cafe where Lisa was. We met by chance, so I came back with her. Yes, it was really a surprise to run into her there. Haha, <laughs> sorry for the surprise. 
I've heard all about you from Lisa. Considering what you just said, how could you say such things? What I said earlier. What was it again? Lately, my memory hasn't been the best. I can't remember what I said. No use playing dumb. Did you not say a daughter-in-law is like a housework robot? Have I ever said such a thing to you? Uh, well, maybe, maybe not. I don't really remember. I never said that. Enough with your nonsense. So, you're just using me to vent your stress, aren't you? Honestly, I'm fed up. Oh, it's not about venting stress. It's just that you're so sloppy. I felt I needed to give you a little pep talk. Sloppy? That doesn't seem to be the case. Even now the room is so clean. A sign that Lisa has been diligently cleaning. Mother-in-law, that's just for today. Usually, it's much dirtier. You just don't know the real Lisa. Well, I visited several times before and the house has always been clean. And her thoughtfulness is impeccable. Lisu is truly wonderful. Faye, thank you for really noticing. I'm so grateful. Uh, mother-in-law, you don't understand anything. The house is clean when you visit. That's all fake, just superficial effort for the moment. If you knew the real Lisa, you'd be disappointed too. Moved by Faye's words, my mother-in-law threw cold water on the moment. Then Faye responded. Really, the nerve of you. I'll return those words right back to you. The one who is sloppy is you, doing nothing but complaining. That's why you have such a flabby figure. My figure has nothing to do with this. Besides, losing too much weight is bad as you age. I'm just being careful. This is healthy. I'm a woman who can do everything perfectly. Perfect, you say? I still think you're too round. Look at me. I exercise every day, so I'm not as flabby as you. Indeed, comparing like this, it's clear that muscle and fat look very different. Mother-in-law, I think you might be getting to an unhealthy level if you don't exercise properly. Shut up. I don't want to hear it from you. Just be quiet. Yelling in hysteria. Are you annoyed because Lisa can do everything and is flawless? That's not true. It's just, as a daughter-in-law, she's too presumptuous. It doesn't seem that way. Are you envious because Lisa has something you don't? That's why you pick on her and say mean things when Noah is not around. Don't you feel ashamed as a person? No. Wait a minute. I'm not envious of Lisa at all. I don't know what Lisa told you, but I haven't done anything terrible. It's not right to take sides and judge based on one side of the story. Of course, I intended to listen to your side as well. But the moment you arrived, you started with such words. There's no need to hear anything else. That was, well, different. Like, just a coincidence or something. Oh, weren't you saying you had forgotten earlier? Your strange accusations made me remember. So, what I said earlier was just a baseless accusation. I didn't say those things. Mother-in-law, it's useless to try to escape by lying. I've been keeping a diary lately, and I've recorded some audio as well. I can bring it if necessary, what do you say? Faced with my retort, my mother-in-law suddenly changed her tune. Keeping a diary and recording, hick. That's the problem with young people these days. That's why they can't open their hearts and interact with the older generation. So, you're admitting to what you've done to Lisa? Ah, uh, fine, fine, I admit it. I said terrible things to her. What? You're just openly admitting it. And you're aware of it. Do you not have a heart? Ha, huh? heart? That's just an illusion, a fictional entity created by the brain. You know, this woman didn't even go to high school, while our family is full of elites. So, doesn't that make her a disgrace to our house? A disgrace? What does educational background have to do with anything? You didn't go to a notable university either. You're not in a position to look down on others. It's not about that. It's about university versus middle school. The difference is too vast. So I just tried to make her at least proficient in housework and childcare. If anything, she should be thankful. Oh, don't they teach gratitude in middle school? I'd rather not be lectured on common sense by someone who, despite going to university, hasn't grasped any. Are you really that great to raise people? You were so bad at housework, I recall almost having to do it all for you. Yes, I admit cleaning is not my forte, but I'm definitely bad at cooking. Her cooking is not tasty at all. My mother-in-law's relentless tirade against me continued unabated, just as I was about to run out of patience and retort. That's not true. Mommy's cooking is delicious. 
It's the best in the world. Exactly. If a foreign tourist asked me where to find delicious food, I'd recommend Lisa's cooking first and foremost. Noah, why are you here? What about your work? I finished up early today and came home. Besides, Lisa has been to cooking classes. She's an excellent cook. That's right. I went to cooking classes with my parents before they passed away, so I'm confident in my cooking skills. No matter how confident you are, it's meaningless if the skills don't match up. And isn't it natural to think the cooking is good because you're family? It doesn't mean Lisa's cooking is exceptionally delicious. You might say we're biased, and maybe we are. But the fact remains, we love Lisa's cooking. That's non-negotiable. Besides, was mom really good at cooking? I remember mostly ready-made meals. Yes, she would just buy pre-made dishes and transfer them to plates. Towards the end, she even found that too troublesome. That's different. I was just too busy with various things. But mom, you were a homemaker, right? It couldn't have been that busy. What's going on here? Grandma, you were visiting too? Yes, I happened to meet Lisa and we were discussing some things. Amid the mother-in-law's fluster, Noah, having learned the whole story from Faye, expressed his outrage. Unbelievable. How could you do such things to Lisa? Wait, why won't you take my side, Noah? Everyone's against me. This is terrible. What are you talking about? The terrible one is you, Mom. Lisa is my proud wife. I can't forgive you for what you've done behind my back. What? Am I less important to you than Lisa? Noah, say those words again. I'll say it as many times as you want. The most important people to me are Lisa and Madison equally. And now, Mom, you've fallen far below them. I won't let you interfere with my family anymore. Even if you're my mother, I won't forgive you. Go, Dad, you're awesome. What? Why won't you value me? I'm your mother who bore you. Why must I, your most precious son, hear such things? Because you've done enough to deserve it. If you don't want to be hated by me even more, then you better wake up. Maybe the cat latte art will help you open your eyes. What? Why am I the bad one? It's all her fault. You've turned Noah, who loved me, against me. I will never forgive you, Lisa. Never. Enough. If that's how you feel, I will just have to protect Lisa forever. We're ending the cohabitation, and we'll never see each other again. Pack your things and leave this house right now. Wait, leaving? Not see each other again? Noah, you're joking, right? You wouldn't do something that cruel, would you? You were glaring at Lisa with such a horrible look just now. This is only fair. Honestly, I felt threatened. Well then, it looks like you'll need some re-education at my place. What? No, thank you, I'm fine. You're not fine, and besides, where else will you go? Come on, pack your things. Once we get to my house, it's going to be strict from the get-go. No, please, anyone, help me. I certainly won't help you. Good luck with Faye. I agree. Maybe you'll finally understand and reflect on your actions. Leave it to me, I'll turn her into a decent human being. Ingar hojagoja toku, bye-bye. How did it come to this? Come on, move your hands, not your mouth. Pack up now. Wait. No. I don't want to go. Thus, the mother-in-law left with her neatly packed belongings under Faye's efficient supervision, beginning a new phase of cohabitation with Faye, which proved to be extremely stringent. Given Faye's background as a former innkeeper, her training was rigorous, covering everything from walking to etiquette, housekeeping, and even the art of tea ceremony. The mother-in-law, unaccustomed to such diligence, found it incredibly tough and lost weight rapidly due to stress, enduring a difficult period of strict discipline. Meanwhile, back at our family. So, Madison, you've hit a wall. Yeah. I can't think of any new ones lately. What's gotten you two so down? We were playing a game where we shout out names of sweets, but she's run out of ideas recently. It's my special move, Mom. And it's not just shouting. We're putting our souls into these words. Okay, okay, sorry about that. I see. That's quite an unusual way to put energy into it. How about narakiri then? Narakiri. Of course, Japanese sweets. We totally missed that. Narakiri. Yeah, sounds strong. Faye, thank you so much. Bo, it's nothing. He, it's lively and fun around here, isn't it? Since then, Faye began visiting our home occasionally. Her visits always delighted Madison, and even Noah seemed to revert to a childlike joy in her presence. 
Today, with Faye's visit, the two were overjoyed, learning new special moves and visibly thrilled. Watching them together with Faye, we continued to cherish these peaceful moments, enjoying the gentle flow of our family life. Faye's presence not only brought happiness but also a sense of unity and fun, reinforcing the bonds among us all. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be thrilled if you subscribed to our channel. Subscribing means you'll receive notifications for new videos, keeping you in the loop with all our latest content. Your support is vital to our growth. Let's enjoy and grow together.